Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to show you what came in my box to turn box for May. It's kind of late. It's the 25th today. And I'm like, uh, less than a week left. And I've never received, well, that's not true. There was one time last year when I received BoxyCharm with like three days left to the month. But <laughs> came today, recording it today. Let's see how it is. All right, so I already have the rest of my face on. I opened up my box to see what there was. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is this. I guess I should say this. This is from Pretty Vulgar. This is their eyeshadow primer. And I didn't even know they made primers much less eyeshadow primers. So let's see how it goes. Packaging's kind of cute. It's pale pink. It has a little bird on there. And then uh, this little key, this looks like it really doesn't have much color to it. I'm just gonna tap it on my eye. I do feel like my lids are quite tacky. So it's time to put on some eyeshadow. And what came in my box this month was this Cali Chic palette from Beauty Creations. I have never tried anything from Beauty Creations. Ooh, okay. Has a mirror in it, kind of a nice little mirror. But these are the shades. It's very much kind of a neutral. I'm very curious. We have five mattes, four metallic shades. I think I'm just gonna stick my fingers in the metallics. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? But there are these guys. I think these three here are nice, this gold. It has a very different feel. It feels a little drier. Maybe it'll work good on the eye. Let's swatch some of the mattes. This one you can hardly see. It's basically the same shade as my skin tone, but I feel like the, the mattes feel a little powdery, but let's, swatching is just swatching, but let's see what it does on the eye. I don't know how it's possible with nails as short as mine. I still gouged one of these eyeshadows. How does that happen? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna start with this shade here. This is called Marina. It's very powdery. I feel like it really picks up a lot. I'm gonna start with this in my crease. So this palette is valued at $14.99. And normally I'd be like, what, that's it? But the truth is, some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes are, you know, in the teens, <laughs> the, the ones from ColourPop. Those are great. I love ColourPop shadows. I don't feel like this is at the same performance quality but you know, it's just one shade so far, so we'll see. I'm gonna pick up this shade here. This one's called Beach Babe, and see if we can get a little bit more depth on the outside corner here. This kind of reminds me a little bit, and I'd be curious to see. It reminds me of the ColourPop California Love. Shades are similar. I'll have to pull it out and we'll, we'll take a look at it. I hope you like my flowers. Those came from my garden. They're so pretty. So all of my white, I only have a couple of my white peonies in here. Those already, the sun hit the, they, my white peonies are on one side of the house and they all bloomed quickly. And my pink peonies, which are just starting to come in, it took like two weeks later for them to open up because they're on a separate side of the house so they're not getting as much sun. And the delphinium that I have here, oh, I'm so sad we had a rainstorm earlier this week. And what I didn't realize is it just like completely smushed it. Instead of standing up tall, it was just kind of flat laying down everywhere. I was like, we're just gonna trim you down. So it's nice to have the flowers inside, but I would have liked them still in my yard if they weren't just kind of sprawled everywhere by the rain shower. I'm gonna go into that first shade on a small pencil brush and take a little bit down here. I'm gonna take some of this darkest shade, Laguna. So far it's just the mattes. And I'm gonna throw that kind of like right here on the outside edge of my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a slightly more pinpointed brush. This is a crease brush, but I never really use it for crease work. Um, and I'm gonna add some of this darker shade Laguna just right here and work it a little bit into the crease, but mostly just to deepen up this outer corner. I'm gonna take the lightest shade on, a, it's basically a push eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna run it right here under the arch of the brow. I'm gonna use this shade right here called Tan Lines. Oh, this looks pretty. This is the sort of eyeshadow palette and the sort of look that is very comfortable for me. So I'm definitely still in my comfort zone here. 
with these shades and this type of look. Very, very much something I've probably done a hundred times or more with similar shades in my own collection. What's great is I have almost no fallout. I have a little bit from this shade, but I think that's because I'm on this side, I wasn't as good at pressing it in as I was on this side. This is a really pretty look. It was easy to do. I had one small flake of fallout here, but that was because I was brushing and not kind of packing the foiled shadow on. But I think overall, it's, it's really pretty. I don't know what its longevity is, but I feel like in combination with this, I got a pretty decent eye look. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of liner and then I'm gonna curl my lashes and we'll be right back. The next thing that came in my box was this Blink Black Lash Primer. So Blink uh, is a mascara that is a tubing mascara and I'm curious if this is a tubing primer. It just says Jet Black Volume and it doesn't say anything else. I'm assuming it's gonna be a tubing primer and I wonder if that means that since it's on my lashes first, whatever other mascara I put on top. Once I get it wet, it'll just kind of slip off like the regular Blink mascara. This used to be my favorite mascara, but uh, I haven't used anything from Blink in years. So the wand is slightly curved, um, and you can tell that there's a lot of product on it. And um, it looks like it only has bristles like on the bottom and on the top, and the side is kind of like a paddle. Maybe that's where it picks up product. I don't know, let's see what it does. I like that it's a black primer. I know a lot of the other primers, uh, I do really like the one from Lancome, the Seals Booster. I feel like that one, even though it goes on white, it kind of dries clear. Boy, this is, I feel like there's a lot of primer on here. So much so that it's, creating some goop. I'm taking this moment right now to just wipe off the excess to see if that'll help my situation here. It's creating very spidery lashes and there some are clumping this way and some are clumping this way and giving me a gap. So I don't know, it, it looks like it's a little chunky for, <laughs> I don't know, you can see there's like a giant clump right there. Keep going. What I almost feel like with this, I don't feel like I really need mascara, but I'm gonna use like a spoolie and go through here and then layer on some mascara over the top. Boy, this stuff is no joke. I probably shouldn't have done two coats. I'm gonna throw on some of the Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash On. I have been enjoying this mascara. This came in a previous boxy charm. Let's see how it builds over the top of this primer. So the last two things I got, one was from Hourglass. I was so excited. This was the item that I selected. I'm a little concerned because the shade they sent me doesn't match up with my beauty profile. They sent me rose gold flash. Now I'm hoping this is not too deep, but I definitely feel like this would probably, oh, it's pretty though. Look at that. So this might work. It might be a little deep, we'll see. So I already have on powder products and I think the best way to apply this would be to just rub it on my fingers and tap it on. I'm worried that if I were to swipe it, I could end up with a problem. It's very pretty, ooh, I like it. You know, this color might actually work. So we're gonna draw a little stripey stripe on this side. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't see it a little, mm, just a little teeny tiny bit of eyeshadow right here. Yeah, I have a little brown streak. Wow. So I mean, I'm like we're still in quarantine. I'm the only one who's going to see it. I feel like it might, I don't know. I'm not sure at this point that swiping this on top of powder products is the best way to apply. I feel like getting it on your fingers and tapping it, or maybe putting it on a like a stippling brush might be the best way to go about it. I feel like I got a better application on this side, and it could be because I got a little bit of brown eyeshadow 
that I didn't see there. It ruined the other side. When it's hitting the light, it's nice, but when it's not hitting the light, it almost looks, especially right here, it almost looks kind of pinky gray. I wish I had known when I specifically picked this product because I think the formula is nice. I do love Hourglass products, which is why I selected it as my item of choice. It just, it, you can see it here, it's significantly darker than my natural skin tone. And so it doesn't work as well as, I mean, it's a beautiful highlight, but then when it's not hitting the light, it looks darker than my skin tone. Like here it's like reflective and pretty and then boom. <laughs> It's a dark kind of grayish pink. It's beautiful. I think the product is nice. I wish I had known when I selected it that they didn't have a shade or they wouldn't be able to customize the shade to my skin tone because I do have myself listed as fair in the BoxyCharm like beauty quiz so that they would send things that are appropriate for my specific skin tone to me. And this is definitely too dark. And as I was looking it up online, it's the second to darkest shade. There are five of these shades. There's champagne, there's a gold, there's a kind of like a neutrally color, then there's this rose gold flash, and then there's a bronze. And this is definitely not meant for somebody with my complexion. It's gorgeous, it's just not for me. And it makes me sad because it is very pretty. Last thing in here, I already had this. Not this specific shade, but I had before received one of the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade lip glosses. This isn't a different shade. I have the shade Peach Tea and it came in my boxy charm. And this is the shade Strawberry Lemonade, I think. So Peach Tea is one that I have loved and have used for more than a year. I like this one a lot. So I have the other shade from this collection. I don't know what it's gonna look like with this look, but I know I love the formula. I want to eat it. It's delicious. It smells like vanilla e cake batter. So good. It's pretty. It's definitely a pink shade. I really like this lip gloss. So I wanted to show you. This is one that I received in BoxyCharm more than a year ago. This is Peach Tea from the Lemonade Collection. And this is the new one that came today. This one's Strawberry Lemonade. So I think they're really nice. They smell amazing. Uh, I like that now I have both of them. But I think that if I were in store and I was trying to choose one, I think I would have gone for this more nude shade rather than the more pink shade. Will I use it? Yes. Am I glad to have it? Yes. Is it an amazing product? Yes. Yes, it is. This lip gloss is valued at $17. I think I forgot to tell you the hourglass is worth $42. And the blink, this kind of and doesn't surprise me. This is $26 for this primer. I would never pay $26 for a primer. This one I think is 25. This is the Lancome one. And I always get it when it's bundled with something else. <laughs> or if I can get it on sale because I just don't like paying 20 anything for a mascara, much less a mascara primer. I did mention earlier that I wanted to see how this Cali Chic from Beauty Creations uh, kind of stacked up against the California Love from ColourPop. This is one that I got, it was last summer's collection, the California collection. I really do like this one from ColourPop, but if you look at it next to this, I think there's a lot of similar shades. Because as I was looking at it, I'm like, ooh, there's nine shades in here. And I would say you have about six shades that are similar to what's in here. Now there's a little bit more range in here because you do have a pressed glitter in here and you have some other shades and a, almost a macaroni cheese yellow. And this one uh, has a gold and kind of like a more warm neutral color, but I feel like they're very reminiscent. And if you have one, you probably don't need the other, or if you have one, you don't need the other. But I think it was the, Cali Chic that reminded me of the California Love palette from ColourPop. I was like, wait a minute. And they even have a similar, you know, palm trees kind of vibe going on with the warm and toasty cardboard packaging. So that's interesting. And there, there is a slight price difference between these, but this is still a better deal because you're getting more shades for the $16 that these are. This one here is $15 and you're only getting nine shades. Just putting that out there. Thank you so much for watching today. 
I, I feel like the only thing that truly let me down was this in the box because it's the wrong shade. The product itself is beautiful. I always love hourglass packaging. It's so gorgeous, but it's just definitely too deep for me. So I'm gonna see if I can pass this on to a friend who would be able to use it and might appreciate it because it's definitely not for my skin tone, but I feel like everything else worked okay. I feel like the primer is one I'll have to check back with you on and let you know whether it actually I felt like everything went on well. I had very little fallout. I love the lip gloss because I have another one from BoxyCharm. I'm glad to have the other shade. And this really surprised me. It does really look like a lot of the shades are reminiscent of the California Love from ColourPop, but that's okay. That's right in my comfort zone. A neutral warm eye, and I'm liking that a lot. The primer... I'm hoping it dries out because it's a little wet right now and it was giving me a little bit of a spidery, spiky lash, but it could be in a couple weeks, it's just gonna be perfect. So a couple things to check back with you on, something to share with a friend, and a couple of things that worked really well for me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you get BoxyCharm. Did yours come on time or did it come really late? Because normally mine comes by the 15th or the 16th. This was like a whole 10 days later and I was like, uh, did you forget about but I'm glad it's here. I had fun playing today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.